Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a conditioner bar infused with the power of Shea Bay. I have partnered with Hair and Nature today to bring you guys this DIY, so let's jump right into phase A. Phase A, I'm going to be adding the butters and the thickeners that I need to keep the bar solid. So this is the glycerol stateurate. It is just glycerin and stearic acid. This is going to help give your conditioner a good thickness that you want and make it solid without uh, making it too hard. BTMS 50 will be our conditioning agent, but it's gonna also act as uh, emulsifier as well because we're gonna be adding just a tiny bit of water, not too much, okay? Um, I'm also adding satirial alcohol. This is also gonna act as a thickener and an emollient for this conditioner bar. I'm also adding Shebe infused oil. This is DIY Shebe infused oil that I created. If you'd like to know more about that, you can click the link above and I'll show you exactly how I made that. This is how I'm incorporating the wonders and benefits of Shebe into this conditioner bar. Next, I'm going to be adding Hera Nature's cocoa butter and also mango butter this is my first time using this product so i'm definitely excited to give it a try what i like about this butter is that it comes in this solid bar form um, it makes it a lot easier to organize and put away and then also um, easier of course to cut and slice into the amount that you need okay you guys know cocoa butter is one of my favorite butters to use um, mainly because of the texture that it gives the product so i definitely wanted a harder butter for this co conditioner bar because i did not want it to turn into my so i thought cocoa butter would be the perfect butter to add okay also mango butter is a great butter to add it's not as soft as shea butter but then it's not as hard as cocoa butter i'm mainly adding mango butter for its properties okay it's going to help with the elasticity of your hair and also just giving your hair that extra healing that it probably needs from any type of damage um, especially with your scalp if you're dealing with dandruff uh, eczema or anything like that then you probably want to definitely check out mango butter and cocoa butter they both have amazing benefits that's it for phase a grab a pot put a little bit of water in there and this is going to act as our double boiler we want to gently melt down all the waxes the butters and our fatty alcohols um, so that it'd be easier to blend in with the water okay so water phase is going to be phase b um, i'm adding just a tiny tiny bit of water you guys i'm not trying to create an emulsion i'm just trying to add those water soluble uh ingredients so ingredients like cetrimonium chloride, I hope I pronounced that correctly, this is an amazing conditioner. It also helps with reducing static and frizz and also helps with detangling. So if you need a conditioner with extra slip and extra conditioning properties, this is the perfect ingredient to add. And you need water to... Um, dissolve this in okay i'm also adding panthenol panthenol is going to give your hair some great elasticity some great shine it's going to soften the hair and mainly because it is small enough to actually penetrate the strands so this is a great ingredient to add it is basically vitamin b5 so it's a vitamin that is almost essential for hair conditioners okay um we're going to also add glycerin this is going to be our humectant which is going to draw in moisture to the strands okay so this is a great ingredient to incorporate especially if you're adding panthenol. Polyquat 78 is a conditioning agent. It is biodegradable and considered green. I've been using this for some time now and it hasn't just disappointed me, so I decided to use it in this conditioner bar as well. I'm also adding silk amino acids. This is going to help to basically reduce water loss, keep water from coming out of your strands, and it's going to also help protect your strands which is gonna you know cut down on breakage um, panthenol is also great for reducing breakage okay so all of these are going to be mixed together for phase b and set aside okay we're going to move on to do phase c while we finish phase a melting down okay um, phase c is going to be basically our cool down phase we're going to add our preservative and our fragrance or essential oils whichever you like if you want it unscented you can definitely skip this part but i recommend not skipping the preservative this is uh, a condition conditioner bar it will be exposed to water on several occasions and there's water actually in it so I highly recommend using a preservative I also added vitamin E because we have a lot of oils in this conditioner bar I want to make sure it doesn't oxidize so it's antioxidant and it's also anti-inflammatory some great properties to go ahead and add your vitamin E okay so set phase C aside and we're going to focus on phase A and phase B now for phase A and phase B, once phase A is melted down, and I did put phase B in the water just for a little while just to kind of 
bring up the temperature of the water phase but other than that I didn't do too much to that then I'm gonna add phase B into phase A and I'm gonna very gently just mix it in together okay I sped it up so it looks a little bit harsher than what I was doing but I was actually mixing very gently um, you don't want to use an immersion blender because we do not want uh, emulsion um, we just basically want to integrate the ingredients that are water soluble into this mostly oil based product okay so we're just going to wait for this to cool down this is the tricky part okay we want this to cool but not solidify and as you're going to see as i add phase c because at this point it is cool enough to add phase c you can see around the sides here that it did start to solidify a little bit so only thing i did was plop it back into the pan but i did not put it on the stove the water is still just a tiny bit warm just enough for me to gently very gently um kind of melt down the rest of that okay um but you want to be careful because if you don't pour it into the mold at the right time you're going to end up having to remelt it again okay um so yeah once you get it to as best as you can melt it down and then add your cool down um, ingredients then you can go ahead and pour it into your mold whatever mold you decide um, I think I did pretty well with measuring <laughs> how, exactly how much I needed these are two ounce bars um, so I made a six ounce batch okay I did not waste product I end up melting the rest that you saw left in the beaker and then pouring it into the last one to make sure that it was even sized i'll set it in the freezer for maybe a couple hours not too long just enough to make sure that it was solid and um yeah this is the results what do you guys think about this i love how they came out I was really excited about it so I definitely want to play around with it some more maybe with some color next time and some maybe some different shapes but I thought this two ounce bar was the perfect size I've actually used this in the shower and it fits perfectly in my hand and I absolutely love it you guys when I used this in my hair the slip was ridiculous the slip was ridiculous my hair felt so soft it was ridiculously soft okay um so anyway i'm going to show you guys how it looks when you rub it in your hand of course it'll be a lot different than if you were in the shower um but um i just want to show you guys that it's not going to foam you're not going to get no bubbles because this is not a cleansing uh bar this is not a shampoo bar okay this is a conditioning bar so just as if you were to use a regular conditioner that's what will happen when you use this bar it's not soap okay so you're not going to get any foam or any bubbles from this but when i tell you it feels amazing you can also see here that it is holding its shape it is not turning into mush which is a great thing this will hold up in the shower i will definitely be reformulating this into a regular conditioner because the slip is oh my god and i could actually feel that my strands were being penetrated and in, in reconditioned because I had just got finished using um, the black soap shampoo that I made in the uh, previous video I had just got finished using that you guys and of course when you're using black soap you kind of get that really squeaky clean feel so I wanted to make sure that I was really penetrating my strands getting it conditioned and then sealing sealing my strands and that's exactly what this Shea Bay conditioner bar has done and it feels amazing you guys i hope you give it a try let me know if you do tag me let me know um how it turned out for you let me know if you tried the butters let me know if you tried all the ingredients i want to hear from you guys leave your comments and concerns and questions down in the comment section below check the description box for all the ingredients measurements and all that good stuff don't forget to check out hair and nature also make sure you hit that notification bell it's the only only way you can keep up with the videos i'm coming out with make sure you follow me on twitter instagram and all that good stuff and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye no, she no island girl. Uh, she from Kilimanjaro. From Kilimanjaro, Kiliman, Kiliman, Jaro. Oh, you're the baby girl, I'm a